chaplain after picking up a musket and joining the ranks during the Civil War battle of Atlanta. Although Davy does his utmost not to send chaplains into harm's way, there are similarities between the DAV chaplain and that most both must facilitate and support the need of all religions. And I want to put a pin there. We must support all religions and all faith. And we're going to get down to that as the slides keep coming up. And I just want to put it out there that we are a non-sectarian organization. What does that mean? I can't favor one or the other. That should be a broad mind. If you're the only whatever in your particular chapter on your uh, state level, you're the only one there. And everyone else that sits around you is of a different faith or a different religion. We are not to impose what we believe. I just believe in being neutral. And when you hear me saying that one voice and that one sound, that's what I'm saying to you. A voice to say, an ear to hear, and then be compassionate enough not to force your beliefs and what you think your chapter or your department or national level should be. It's already written what it is. Before you accept that position, to know what you're walking into. Agree? Agree. Y'all don't need to talk back to me. Now, the A.A. chapters can draw some comparison with our own counterparts. What does that mean? Military chapters may conduct services in the religion that ordain them. You were ordained as a Methodist ministry, you were ordained as a Catholic, whatever. But regardless of your faith, we must meet the spiritual need of all diverse groups of soldiers. So if you don't know, I was told by my praise and worship leader years and years ago, and I named her, Miss Google will find anything. <laughs> if you Google it, you won't find it. <laughs> so if you're not sure about the different religions of faith that you're going to serve, going to pray for, send a, a sympathy card or a get well card, Google it, and Miss Google, I promise you, will tell you what you need to send. We got it? Yeah. So it won't be no hurt feelings that, you know, no one's gone enough to look my faith or my religion up and here I am and I'm not picking on any particular group. Here I am a Muslim and you sit there a Christian, get well caught. Mm -hmm. That can be offensive. Yes. Because it lets me know you didn't think enough or ask someone, you know, is it okay? And we're going to see the ratings of how much of our DAB organization is built on Christianity, Protestants, this, that, and the other. We don't have the numbers of all the other faith, but just know I have it before me in a little book at home. I just don't go out and I always inquire, where am I going? Who am I going to pray for? Because I choose not. It's my choice not to offend anyone. If you don't know, offense can go for years and years and years well, and years. People will hold it against you for years and years and years. In fact, they'll die being offended. And we don't right. ever want to misrepresent DAV and offend no one. We got it? Yeah. Got it. Okay, I'm going to start answering myself. But we must meet the spiritual need of, of, a, of all diverse, diverse groups of soldiers. In doing so, support their military unit readiness, moral, and acts as counsel for our comrades. Military chaplains must be prepared to serve in a non-denominational capacity. Get yourself ready. You know, do like little children. Change your mind. Get in that mind mode. Get in that mindset that this is where I'm going. Not only to represent DAB, but represent yourself. I found out a lot will travel quicker than the truth. And if you offend someone, oh, we got a way of making you look bad. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So now. Know that we have many faith. In 2017, the Army authorized beers for religious soldiers after a lawsuit came in. But the next year, the soldier was authorized to wear a beard because they prayed to their own God. Even before that, going back decades, chapters have been asked to support a wide range of spiritual beliefs. Now, your own faith, do your own faith. But outside of your faith, as a representative of what you gave an oath to fulfill, there would be a mindset and a mind change. It doesn't change you. If it changed you, then you weren't secure and solid in what you believe. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Here it is on page six. The United States had the world largest Christian popularity. You see the chart. And more specifically, has the largest Protestant population of any country in the world. Christian compromise of 63% of the population.
positions that we hold and as the little children said, we can all get along if we try. But if we don't try, it's just going to fall apart. And I don't ever want to think that we're not trying. And I found out that people will want you. They look for you. You are a written epistle that's being written, but people watch you. And they watch what you do and what you say as opposed to what you think you're going to be doing and what you think you're going to be saying. So, regardless of the religion, the 
chapter in way. Y'all looking real strange, but I know some incidents, and not that to that extreme, but it wasn't a chapter, but someone was put in the office because of such things.
see what the chaplain said. We may be asked to preside over a brief ceremony to honor the POWs and the MIAs. Chaplains can and should be the first person member contacted when a veteran or families are in stress. The ritual calls for a report on the sickness. In your local chapters, make sure or ensure that if you know any sick comrades are among you, let the chapters know. Now, this is a sidebar and it's not in this presentation today. I've experienced it two or three times in Alabama. And this, go to Google. Or go to I mean YouTube. It was expectancy that the chapter needed to know how to fold that flag. How many know how to fold a flag at a ceremony? Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank y'all. Well, maybe I'm a little slow, Mississippi.
chapters may initiate or be involved in other programs as their capabilities and resources will allow them to be. All right, Mr. Dan, pronounce this word for me. Proselytize. Thank you. Now, we know what that means, don't we?
bylaws do or don't. But in every meeting that I've been in, folks who are appointed by elected officers also take the oath of office. But if they're not appointed, they're just an assistant in the chapter. When they have to take it. So not the two kind of assistant. There's a lot more.
and I'm being called out because I was texting Doug Wells to try and sort out the, uh, uh, the report. Um, can I take care of that one real quick? Yeah. Um, according to Doug, there's no such report currently. We, we see a definite value, especially for state-level chaplains to know that. I think someone else in this room might think that the national chaplains might have the same exact thing. Um, and we might need to do outreach if we do seminars or something like that. So Doug's saying, now that we have the officer election report online, this is something we can work towards, and he's got the feedback. Um, for the other question, um, I want you to forgive me for, for being on my phone.
family approach has I had to approach in the absence of the chaplain to represent the DA because the, the deceased member was a part of the of the chapter or the department. Is there a standard type of ritual that anybody can use that's not offensive? This year for the first time ever. 